Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you how to solve a game theory problem without a saddle point. Games without a saddle point can be solved by mixed property and there are three ways to solve a mixed property game. Number one is arithmetic method, number two is graphical method and number three is algebraic method also called the linear programming method. So I will tell you how to solve a game without saddle point by arithmetic method in this video. So let's start. First let me tell you some basics which you will need to solve the problem. This is called a two person zero sum game because it's being played between two persons or two players, player A and player B. Let's say it's a profit and loss type game where the profit or gain for one player is equals to loss for another player. If player A earns 5 rupees then player B has to lose 5 rupees so that the algebraic sum of profit and loss is equals to 0. That's why it's called 2 person zero sum game. Now player A has 3 strategies A1, A2 and A3 and player B also has 3 strategies B1, B2 and B3. These individual cell values represents the payoff value and the matrix is called the payoff matrix. Next is row minima. The minimum number in each row represents the minimum payoff for player A if player A follows that strategy. For example, if player A follows the strategy A1, his minimum gain or minimum payoff will be of 2 units. So player A will try to maximize his minimum gains. That strategy is called the maximum strategy for player A. Next is column maxima. The maximum value in each column represents the maximum loss for player B if player B follows that strategy. For example, if player B follows the strategy B1, his maximum loss will be of 7 units. So player B will try to minimize his maximum losses. That strategy is called the minimax strategy for player B. Both the players are intelligent and rational and they know what is the outcome of one strategy for himself and also for the opponent. So since all the basics are clear, let me proceed to how to solve the problem. So first you have to find out the row minima and column maximum values and check whether the game has a saddle point or not. Saddle point is a point where the optimum strategies for both the players collide. To find out the row minima values, as the name suggests, find out the minimum value in each row and write that next to that row. So in row A1, the minimum value is 2, which is written next to it. In row A2, minimum value is 3, which is written next to it. And in row A3, the minimum value is again 3, which is written next to it. Next, you have to find out the maximum values among all the values in row minima column and enclose that number in a square box. So here the largest number among row minima values is 3 and we have two threes. So you can choose arbitrarily that is you can go with either one. So I have chosen this 3 and I have enclosed that in a box and this number is my actual row minima value. Next to find out the column maximum value as the name suggests, find out the maximum value in each column and write that next to it. So in column B1, the maximum value is 7, which is written next to it. In column B2, maximum value is 8, which is written next to it. And in column B3, again the maximum value is 8, which is written next to it. And now find out the smallest number among all the numbers in column maxima row and enclose that in a circle. So the smallest number among 7, 8, 8 is 7 which is enclosed in a circle and this value is our actual column maximum value. Next you have to check whether the value in the circle is equals or not the value in the box. If both the values are equal then the game has a saddle point but in our case the numbers doesn't match so the game does not have a saddle point. Games with a saddle point can be solved by pure strategies. Pure strategy means each player will choose only one strategy all the time. But in case of a mixed strategy, each player will use a combination of 
all the strategies given to him to find out the optimal point and there is a probability factor for choosing the given strategies that game is a probabilistic type of game so since the row minima not equals to column maxima the game doesn't have a saddle point we need to reduce the game to a 2 into 2 game using the property of dominance to know more about the property of dominance please watch my previous two videos those are operation research tutorial number 21 and 22 there i describe the property of dominance in extreme detail and in very easy language the link to them is given in the video description below so the second property of dominance says if the numbers in a column if equals to or larger than corresponding numbers in another column or more than one columns then the first column is dominated by the second or more than one columns so in our case all the numbers in b3 column are larger than all the numbers in b1 column so the column b3 is dominated by the column b1 3 is larger than 2 8 is larger than 7 and 7 is larger than 6 so b3 is dominated by b1 and thus eliminated so after eliminating the column b3 we have got our this game now we'll apply the first property of dominance it says if all the numbers in a row if smaller than or equal to corresponding numbers in another row or more than one rows then the first row is dominated by the second row or the number of rows 7 is larger than 6 and 3 is equal to 3 so a3 is dominated by a2 and thus eliminated so after eliminating the row a3 we have got our this 2 into 2 game again we will find out the row minima value and column maxima value and check whether we can find out a saddle point or not this time so after finding the row minima and column maxima values again we see both the numbers are not equal so again we don't have a saddle point and finally we have to use the mixed property so as i mentioned there is a probability factor so first we have to find out the p1 which is probability for player a of using the strategy a1 and we have to find out p2 which is the probability for player a of using the strategy a2 so here are the formulas which we have to use don't get panicked i will explain the formula to you it's very easy to remember this cell is called a11 this is a12 this is a21 and this is a22 and now i will tell you how to remember the formulas the denominator or the bottom part for all the three formulas is same that is a11 plus a22 minus a12 plus a21 and for top for p1 is a22 minus a21 and for q1 it's a22 minus a12 if you interchange 2 and 1 you will get 1 and 2 and v1 which you have to remember which is 11 into 22 minus 21 into 12 again the interchange between 2 and 1 first p1 which is equals to so a22 equals to 3 minus a21 that is 7 so 3 minus 7 is minus 4 divided by a11 that is 2 plus a22 that is 3 so 2 plus 3 minus a12 that is 8 plus a21 that is 7 so that becomes 3 minus 7 that is minus 4 divided by 2 plus 3 5 minus 8 plus 7 15 that is 5 minus 15 that is minus 10 so minus 4 divided by minus 10 is equals to 2 by 5 which is our p1 value next p2 value can be found by 1 minus p1 value because the maximum probability value is 1 and 1 minus p1 equals to p2 so that is 1 minus 2 by 5 equals to 3 by 5 and the optimal strategies for player a is given by 2 by 5 3 by 5 and 0 so let us apply the q1 formula to find out the q1 value so the bottom part is same which is minus 10 in this case and for top a22 is 3 minus a12 which is 8 
so 3 minus 8 equals to minus 5 so minus 5 divided by minus 10 is 1 by 2 or half so if q1 is half then q2 is 1 minus half again it's also 1 by 2 so the optimum strategies for player b is half half and zero that means player b will choose the first strategy half of the times second strategy again half of the times and third property none of the times and finally we have to find out the v which is the value of the game which is given by a11 that is 2 into a22 that is 3 so 2 into 3 minus a21 that is 7 into a12 that is 8 6 minus 56 that is minus 50 divided by minus 10 that is equals to plus 5 which is the value of the game the problem is solved and the optimal strategies for both the players are found so friend this was my video on how to solve a game theory problem without a saddle point using mixed strategy how was the video let me know in the comments below i will upload more videos on operation research so don't forget you subscribe to my youtube channel so that when i upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe and please share this video among your friends and family because knowledge is meant to be shared I have uploaded more than 22 videos on operation research already on my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then stay connected by subscribing.